Thaxter, there you are. What happened to you? I had a harrowing experience. No thanks to you. Welcome, young warrior. Many eons have passed since our hope burned so brightly. Today, you have proven yourself worthy to receive Ma's legacy. He's talking about me! Thanks, you holy statuness. This tomb wasn't so tough. What you are about to receive contains grave power, and with it comes grave responsibility. Eons ago, the Precursors waged a terrible war with the Horaquan, those dark creatures you refer to as Metalheads. Driven by their dark leader, the Metalhead legions destroyed our great civilization, and now they swarm the universe unopposed, looking for the last relics of our power. Ma tried to hide the Precursor Stone in this tomb to protect it from them. It is our last hope, and you were chosen to keep that hope alive. I think you got me confused with someone else. I just want the stone. It is time to fulfill your destiny. Behold. Wow! Let's get the goods. Boom! You brought me right to the stone. Your pitiful underground friends were no match for my guards above. Now I will gain the power I need to crush my enemies! And after claiming the stone, I'll begin with you. Abomination. The Precursor Stone is not meant for you. Nice try, but the stone is still mine. Don't worry. I will use the stone to its full potential. Soon all who oppose me will be destroyed by its power. <laughs> How did the Baron know we were so close to making a move for the stone? It's my fault. The Baron threatened to kill Ashland for spying. His own daughter. I couldn't risk that, even for the Underground. Right. Very good thinking. Except Praxis has the Precursor Stone now, so he can do whatever he wants! There is still a way to get our friends back. And maybe the Precursor Stone as well. I'll find Vin. Go to the fortress and we'll call you. And why should we trust you? Because you and I both know the Baron would have killed Ashlyn. It'll be a tough fight through the fortress. Probably suicide. You just get that door open. I'll be there. The metal head masher has saved the day. Oh, and I let Jack tag along too. Oh, my little hero. Samus, are you all right? What took you so long? I added six rings to my trunk waiting for you two to get me out of here. Great Yakow horns. What happened to you, Jack? Wait a minute. You're you. I mean, the other you. I mean, you know what I mean. Yes, it appears I have an older time twin. Great grass grubs. I can't believe what a cranky old log I become. Two Samos the Sages. Ah, Jack, they're multiplying. We need to find the kid pronto. What are you talking about, old growth? The kid already opened the tomb. Our top priority should be to disrupt the Baron's forces. Oh, look who thinks they've sprouted. If you were half as wise as I am, you'd know that the proper course of action is to find the kid. Listen, you old dried-up leaf. I run this outfit, and I say we go after the Baron's forces. Do we have to separate you two? Vin's activating the warp gate. We need to get out of here now. You boys are all right, and since the boss is out of it right now, I'm going to give it to you straight. I've been cruise heavy for years, and I've done some things I'm not proud of. But this time, I think Cruz gotten himself and us into something really nasty. I'm thinking of getting out. Oh, Sig's beginning to like us, Jack. Come here, you big lug. Hugs for everyone. Knock it off. I think Cruz trying to. <laughs> Relax. Watch me butter up Bun Boy. Hey there, stuffed crust! How's it feel floating on top of the food chain? Ooh, Crewmeister! Have you been exercising? 
You're looking good. You are definitely mm, living large. Mm -hmm. And those legs, they're so uh, chiseled. I need you to escort three of my boys down into the sewers and visit that statue again. I've heard that Mars' cheeky face might contain another secret, and I want you to see if the stories are true, eh? Make sure all three of my boys get to that statue, and they'll do all the rest, hmm? You hear that? Sounds like I got kids. Ah! The ceiling's crawling! Jack! Metalheads everywhere! It's a trap! Pretty statue. Stand back. We're professionals. All right, boys, let's blow this sucker sky high. Wait, who told you to... No! There's what we're looking for. Dahada Ma Jim. Thanks for the escort, buddy. We'll take it back to crew. All right! Our own peacemaker! Now we're rocking! Well, if it isn't the dark eco-freak... Where's Kira? Don't worry. I'm keeping a close eye on her. You're the talk of the town, Jack. You give the people hope. How pathetic. I would have enjoyed killing you in prison. But now, it'll be so much more fun to take you on the track in front of the entire city. I can hear the roar of the crowd now as everyone sees their hope die. It's good to have you back, Daddy. Yes, it's nice to be free again. You know, Kira loves a winner. Someday she'll be my mechanic. Stay away from her. <laughs> <sighs> Errol's the best racer I've ever seen. He's not what you think. And you're a good judge of character? Ha, look at you. People say you get angry and change. Besides, the Jack I knew wouldn't be working for a guy like Crew. I need Crew's connections to fight the Baron. Without my... You know what? Do it your way, and I'll do it mine. Just don't come crying to me when the walls fall down. Uh, Jack, buddy? <laughs> Where you going there, pal? Jack? Jack? Attention all drivers. The Class 2 races will begin soon. Now what are we gonna do? You'll have to drive for the team, Daxter. We need this win to qualify for the final championship. How hard can it be? Just to uh, hold on tight and point the thingy where I want it to go, right? And then there's the other thingy that makes it go fast. Fast is good. I can do this. I'm ready to race. Now there's a handsome winner. You did it, Daxter. You helped us qualify for the big race. Did you ever doubt? I backseat drive for Jack all the time. Hey, when do I get the winner's big kiss? Maybe later, if you're a good boy. Hey there. We, uh, we showed those Class 2 losers a thing or two, huh? I saw. You drifted a little high in the turns a few times, but you hung in there. I'm proud of you, Dax. Really? Yeah, you did great. No, we did great! Right, partner? The Baron is still up to his old tricks. The Underground got word that several Crimson Blast Bots are zeroing in on the hideout here. They're armored bombs which seek out targets. If any of those blast bots reach this place, we're dead. Ah, what are you worried about, old man? You're almost dead anyway. Well, if you'd taken better care of yourself, I wouldn't be in the state I am now. Take out those blast bots before they reach the hideout, Jack. They have proximity defenses, so do be careful. Good, Good hunting. hunting. Hey, back to work, toots. She's working, beach ball. Quit your yapping. Watch it, or you'll be yet another trophy hung on these walls. Jack, I want you to throw the championship race. Just let Errol win. You bet against us? Jack, Jack, it's just business. You've become a symbol to those townies. They'll bet everything on a glimmer of hope. What better time to make money? What do you say, my boy? I'd say you're gonna lose a lot of money. Because I'm going to race. And I intend to win. Oh, you little... You're becoming more trouble than you're worth. 
I wouldn't get too comfy if I was you. Everyone's expendable. In a hurry to die, boy? Well, we don't have to wait for the big race. We can do this right now. One on one, through the city, using accelerator rings. Hit every ring from start to finish. Miss even one ring and it's over. Kira already thinks you're a loser. And I'll prove it now, once and for all. You're on. <sighs> Don't get too cocky, outlaw. Next time we race for keeps, and your head will be my trophy! Ah, blow it out your ear! You were bottle-fed, weren't you? I spent many a day cleaning up this place for old Greeny. Good work, Jack. And Daxter, I suppose. Before we came through the rift long ago, I was nurturing that life seed from the great tree. It seems the metalheads are attracted to its power. Take the seed to Onin now. She will prepare it for Samus. Y you mean you? And, and I know the other me, Daxter. My younger self needs the seed's power to become sagely. So, let me get this straight. It's fair to say that by bringing your younger self the life seed now, we helped you become the sage you are today. We helped you get your powers in the first place. And you never thanked us? Thank you, Daxter. Now go do it! Onan says, what took you so long? We had to skip lunch waiting for you too. Ah, okay, okay. She really says, thank you for saving the live seed. But I wouldn't say that if I were her. Give Onan the seed, and she will prepare it for Samus. Mm. Bird seed. Back off, featherweight! Listen, Tiny Tail. I was leading my hundred flocks south before you had fur one between your legs. Not that your fur means anything. At least I'm not some overstuffed, over-yapping, feather-dusty mouthpiece for the world's oldest professional. Jack says, have a nice day. Jack says, I can't think on my own. Jack says, go b yourself. That's it, rat boy. Now you've really pissed me off. <laughs> Knock it off, both of you. You're lucky I'm famished. Onan says, take the energized life seed to young Samos in Haven Forest. It will give Samos the power he needs to finally see the forest from the trees. Go, quickly. Samos told me to, I mean, you told me to, or, well, I mean, your older version. Uh, whatever, we heard you needed the life seed. Yes, its power will help me speak to the plants. There he is! Roger, we're en route. I see him! Jack, protect me from these guards. I must ask the plants vital questions about our future. Life Seed gave me a terrible vision. The Baron is planning to destroy the Precursor Stone. He aims to crack it open somehow. If he does this, the energy released will be beyond comprehension. It will destroy the world and more, ending all life. The plants are crying out for protection. You must stop the Baron, Jack. Stop him however you can. It's Brother Jack and his little orangey pal. Thank the totem I sees you. You help lurkers once time. You help us twos? Look, Bruder, we've got our own problems to deal with right now. But you know bit to do ruckus, you cause a dig? I know all caves like Back of Claw, and Mars Tomb, nowhere there. Now metalheads find hidden lurker village in caves. They bite and hurt the village real bad, and the lurker brothers trapped like animals. Uh, hello, they are animals. We're no longer evil lurking bad to bones, orangey boy. We good now. Metalhead is a bad. They is enemies. Yeah, I guess we're all in the same boat now. And this ship is sinking fast, brother. Please, save six lurker brothers quick, and Bruder will kiss you foot. Hey there, sack of nerves. How's the bzzz stuff going? I've got good news and bad news. The good news is, Core tells me we've got enough power online to keep the shield walls up. So for now, the city's safe. But I don't know how long the system can hold. And the bad news? We've detected a cluster of metalhead eggs growing up at the strip mine site. Now you've got to go back there and find a way to destroy those eggs before they turn into a whole new army of creatures. 
I noticed the crane was lifting a large metal container. If we could jump onto the container, we could drop the crate from above. Hi, jump, drop. Why don't I like the sound of that? Come on, Dax, let's go. Can't believe it! We were so close! The Baron stole the Precursor Stone right out from under us, and after all of our planning and hard work, Torn has betrayed the cause! Torn meant well. He was protecting one of our own. We must get that stone back. I'm working on it. Yeah! We're working on it! I've underestimated this Baron, and now it appears he has taken the boy as well. Think. What will the Baron's next move be? Well, if I had the Precursor Stone with all that power, I'd use it to build a giant palace. A palace with the biggest harem of women the world has ever known. And there'd be a swimming pool filled to the brim with chocolate. Slightly minty. Yeah, yeah, a massive pool of gooey chocolate. Then the girls and I would jump in together. What? I want you to go out to the drill platform again. If you can destroy the main control tower there, it should temporarily stop the Baron's use of Eco to harm us. Now that you carry the weight of darkness on your shoulders, you alone cannot save us. Our last hope rests with one still untouched by pain, and you must protect this young soul in our moment of truth. I grant you another dark power. I'll show you guys what I've been working on if you promise not to laugh. Ooh, I love surprises. And I love to laugh. Show me, show me. I've been building a replica of our crashed rift riding machine from old artifacts. That's my girl. But I'm still missing two pieces. Figures. Vin says I need an artifact called the Time Map and an old energy gem history books call the Heart of Mar. And I've looked in every book on precursor history I can find. But the rift ring seems to have vanished. You did all this? I mean, that's useful. Oh, uh, will you two stop moping around and make up already? I've seen the Heart of Mar. Crew has it. We'll get those two artifacts, Kira. Attention all drivers. The Class 1 Championship race is about to begin. Well, here goes. The race of my life. Jack, I just wanted you to know, well, you're the best racer I've ever seen. Hey! What about me? I helped get us here! Do you want to drive? Against that crazy lone arrow? No way! You got the handlebars, brother. And you'd better keep us alive or I will never speak to you again. Obviously. Leave him in the dust, Jack. I want you just to win, Eco Freak. I want you! Greetings, racers! Today, your nerve and skill will be tested for our amusement. If any of you should by some small chance beat our grand champion, Errol, then you will be awarded a month's supply of Eco! And a short tour of my palace to see how we have it. Good luck, and die great! Ready, get set! Brave man of the... And who is this word? In my name, good man. But... Break. So which is it? Surprise. What? Just a little closer. We need it. Fool! Don't you get it? It's over, Jack. All the heroes died long ago. Only survival remains. By whatever means, this city is mine. These lives are mine. This war! Mine. War people die! Kill him. Look out! I win, Jack. After them! I should have.
couldn't have trusted you. Back where we started, huh? Don't play with me. All along you've been trying to undermine our war with the Metalheads. Whose side are you on? Listen, Ashlyn. Your father's planning something terrible, and if- My father can destroy the Metalhead armies once and for all. If he cracks open the Precursor Stone, the explosion will kill all of us. Don't you get it? That's right. Not so hard, huh? Even I can figure this one out. Don't you move. Vin, come in. What? What? I've got my hands full here, you know? You know all about the Precursor Stone myth, right? Sure. I did my Econetic Energy Doctorate on Precarian Theoretical Physics. Why? What would happen if the Precursor Stone were to be, say, violently cracked open? Great. As if I didn't have enough to keep me awake at night, you give me one more thing to dread. Thank you very much. If someone actually had the stone, according to my calculations, a runaway ego search and cracking open would theoretically destroy everything! Everything? All things! Every single thing! Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna go throw up. Bye-bye. Trust me, Ashlyn. We have to stop him. I'll try to find out more. But right now, my father is meeting crew at a secret weapons factory near the dig. Here. That's my top-level security pass. It'll get you into the factory, but it won't get you back out. We never had this conversation.